Hello, good day to you guys, or good evening, or whatever it is. We're here to talk about basic guitar playing. You've never played before, you want to play something, so I'm going to show you how to play something right away. This is Primer Basics. First thing, the names of the parts of the guitar. Headstock, tuning keys, because you turn them like a key and they tune. This is called a nut, this has what's called a locking nut, it's a special type of uh, system where it's, I can make all kinds of noise, but not all guitars have this. This is your fretboard, the neck is on, the whole piece is the neck, the fretboard's here because these metal things are frets. The dots are position markers to let you know where you are. When you hit the double dot right here, that means you've gone one octave. If this is the A string, which it is, by the time you hit it here, you've gone another A. The names of the strings are E, A, D, G, B, E. There's many sayings you can use to remember that. Eat apples daily, good body energy, if you're into the healthy thing. Eddie ate dynamite, good by Eddie, if you're into the violent thing. I prefer the healthy thing. Those are the names of the strings. There's 12 notes. I'm going to count them out for you real quick. Um, this is, first off, this is the low E string, this is the A string, right? So we're going to start on the A string. Open, it's an A. First fret is A sharp, next is B, then C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, we're back to A, starts all over again. Everything repeats. So there was no B sharp, it went from B right to C, and there was no E sharp, it went E right to F. I just use sharps, no flats, to keep it simple, to get you going. So, let's talk about posture. I tend to wear my guitar pretty high, some people wear them lower because it looks cooler, but I find that it tweaks your wrist. So, as far as posture goes, you want your wrist to be pretty neutral. So wherever it goes, you don't want it to be tweaked out like this, or too much like this, because you're going to have trouble playing. So if your thumb's over too much like this, your wrist is going to be too high. You won't be able to stretch much. If your thumb, if your if your wrist is out like this, you can actually hurt your wrist by overextending it. So the position of your thumb is going to be very important. We'll get to that in a minute because I'm going to show you some finger exercises. But first, let's get you playing. Uh, hand position. So here we have. I tend to have my thumb a little high. Not always. If I'm playing something that's stretchy, my thumb goes down to the middle like this. My hand is generally going to be right here. The, the pinky side butt heel of my palm is going to be resting right behind what's called the saddle, which is where the part where the string actually starts, right here. This is the nut where the string starts on this end. It's called the saddle on this end. These are pickups. They pick up the sound. If you're electric or an acoustic, got a hole. It's called a sound hole. But you still have a bridge, and you still have saddles on the bridge, or a saddle on the bridge. So you want to be right behind the saddle with this part of your wrist on there, because that way you have a zero point. It's like having a compass. If you need to hit a string, you have a, a zero point. Some people develop bad habits where they stick their pinky here, and it works really good for <laughs> strings right here, but when you get up here, you start stretching your hand, and it's not very good. Also, if you're just trying to pick them out of the air, it's kind of like trying to catch a fly with chopsticks in the middle of a restaurant. Pretty hard to do. Um, so, right here is a good place, and when we pick, which we're going to do in a minute, everything's going to be up and down. When we strum, it comes. it's going to come from the elbow. The wrist has to remain loose. You don't want a rigid wrist because you'll just break strings. So, first things first, we're going to do two chords. The first chord is called an E minor, and it looks like this. I have my middle finger on the second fret. When I say fret, it's really the second fret space of the A string, the open, the E string is open. Then I have my middle finger on the second fret space of the A string, and then my ring finger is on the second fret space of the D string. Everybody else is open. Now, there's an important thing. When you're in the fret space, if you're back too far, you're in the fart zone. It's just going to fart all day long. Oh, excuse me. Oh, pardon me. I never. Oh, my goodness gracious. If you come up a little closer to the leading edge, ooh, tone zone. So you want to be in the tone zone, avoid the fart zone. So here's our first chord. Now our second chord, just to give you an advance warning, is going to be the exact same thing, just move down one string each. Still play all six strings for right now. So this is an E minor, this is going to be called an, it's a little bit of a long name, an A sus 2 over E. But it's real easy to move. Now the trick is you don't want to step when you move like this because it'll take you a half hour to move and the drummer's going to go, ah, the guitar player's changing chords again. Yeah, pizza Hut, can I get a pizza? Yeah, can I get frogs and dirt on it please? Thank you. Oh wait, you're changing chords, bye. 
So you don't want to, because the drummer's going to get sick if he does that. So change faster by moving as one unit. Like two Roman soldiers marching together in perfect formation. They don't have to be Roman. They could be Greek or they could be uh, Icelandic. I don't know. But you just want to move like this. Just the smallest motion. So when you press down, you want to lift up just enough to clear the string and get to the next string. You don't really, you don't even really need to clear the string. Just rub the top of it. But the last thing you want to do is reset, like a typewriter. If you don't know how a typewriter works, it has keys, and each key strikes like this for a different letter. And that's exactly what you don't want in guitar. So you want to have economy of motion. So we're going to do a simple strumming pattern. It's going to go like this: one, two. Notice my arm never stops moving. That's so you're not a white guy dancing. If you did one, two, three, and four, that upstroke's going to be all jerky. You're going to be a white guy dancing, and that's kind of awful. Because someone might take pictures and video, you know. So watch. One, two, three, and four. So it's down, 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 up, down. Then we just switch chords, just like this. And then down. playing something right away. If you have trouble switching chords, the way to work that out is to do one strum each. Just go one strum, switch, one strum, hurry, switch, faster! Because you got to be fast in your switches so you, you can strum along at any tempo and be able to change chords. And this is a very simple chord change because you got two fingers, exact same configuration. Just pretend that they're super glued together right here, so when you move them, they move as one unit. Okay, that's how you do chords. One, As you learn chords more later, that's for another time. So the next thing I want you to do is to do a finger exercise, and this is going to develop something called alternate picking. Just like we're strumming up and down non-stop, even though we don't hit all those, like we might just hit so, but we keep that motion going so that you stay in time. Now later on you're going to strum if you get advanced, you still strum smaller chords for the wrists and stuff, but it's mainly an elbow kind of thing. So now we're going to do um, picking notes, and we're just going to do this as an exercise, and then we're going to go through the notes up the A string one more time. So the first finger exercise goes like this. The frets are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it starts on 0, ends on 1. And my picking is down... Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And notice my pick is moving the smallest possible amount. Just crosses over the top of the string and comes right back. You don't want these big picking motions like this, because you'll never play fast. Forget about it. Forget about it. You're not going to play like that. Forget about it. You know what I'm saying? So, play like this. And it's going to go down, up, down, up, down, up. Start again, it's going to start on a downstroke. And we're going to do this on every string, let's say four times is a good start. And you're going to find out that you could start with your thumb up here and maybe reach all of these, but when you get down to this low E string down here, you're not going to be able to reach unless your thumb is down here. Because, watch, if my thumb is up, this is as far as my pinky can reach, but if my thumb is down, my pinky can reach quite a bit further, twice as far, as a matter of fact. So here it is quickly because you can rewind this and check it out. One, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. I'm going to do it again. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'll do it faster. Down, up, 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 down, up. Now we go to our next string. Starts with a down stroke. Notice I'm keeping my fingers on as I move, as I go a little up. So they're there because I need them right when I take them off. Like I said before, the last thing you want to be is a typewriter where you're like, like. You don't want your fingers to be flying out here. You want to keep them right here like vultures hovering over a highway waiting for some fresh armadillo. So, have your vultures hovering over the highway like this. Four 
times that it ends on one, and you start on zero with a downstroke. Now, the open, second, and fourth frets, which are even numbers, are downstrokes. One and three are odd numbers, they're upstrokes. Zero is a down, one is an up. Two is a down, three is an up. Four is a down, three is an up. Two is a down, one is an up. And then you start over again. Now come back to the last one, D string. And I go to the A string. has to be back here so I can reach this far. Now if at first you can't reach, you can't keep your fingers on, you have to slide up, that's okay. Uh, with time you'll get stretchier with your hand. And if you're young, you're going to grow into it. So here you go. The last string, which is low E string. We have a low E string. When we talk low, we're talking about pitch. So this is a low E, this is a high E. This is lower in gravity, but it's higher in pitch. So we always talk about pitch. This is up the neck. This is down the neck because it goes down in pitch, it goes up in pitch. My higher notes are here, towards the ground and up here. My lower notes are here, up in the sky, and towards this side. So here's the low E string. Notice that my picking hand is still right where it was. Ends on one. So all I did is like slide my hand slightly to go from the high E string. So I'm just sliding like this, just ever so much, ever so slightly, to get all the strings. One more time, up the A strings so and get all the notes. A, A sharp, B, B has no sharp, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, E has no sharp, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and it starts all over. A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. Now when I say B and E have no sharps, that's a rule that they made and then they broke, but that's for later. So that will get you playing. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So at least you can start playing some chords and some notes with good technique and proper posture. Okay, have fun with that. I've done some other videos about like how to hit only the strings you want on certain chords. As you learn more chords, you'll find there's some chords that are only four strings, and some of them are six strings, and some of them are five. And there's a way, just look up my videos, you'll see on YouTube, my name's Scott, space, no space, just like, like not an underscore, just a space, Emmons, space music. On YouTube, you'll find also on my Facebook page, which is, uh, I don't know what it's called, I think it's just Scott Emmons. Um, Scott Emmons 75, I think I was the 75th one or something. You'll find it there also. It's how to, it's done on acoustic guitar and it's how to hit only the strings you want to hit because there's a secret to that that they never tell you. But I did. Okay, so have fun with this and see you next time. Okay, take care. Be safe. Bye.